Hello, and today we have some really bad news to cover. Yesterday I released my video for Frosty K's, it's a complete beginner's guide, and in that guide I said that in the pre-patch we were going to be good. Well, the honest truth is that at that, at that time we were kind of good, but we were the underdog. We were not as strong as other classes, and we really had to work hard. We really had to pull out all the stops just to compete in duels or in PvE uh, damage-wise. We had to really pull out all the stops. Blizzard has been going crazy nerfing everything about Frost DK. They nerfed the weapon swapping, which, you know, sure, it was a little, it was a little clunky. A lot of people didn't like it. But it doesn't change the fact that without it, we were already at a mass disadvantage. I don't remember any Frost DKs complaining about weapon swapping once it won them a duel because it healed them for half of their entire HP bar. So they got rid of that. But we still had good damage, well, decent damage. We still could hold our own in PvE, and we could still win a duel if we really pulled out all the stops, and I mean that, literally all the stops. Well, yesterday, just hours after I released my video, Blizzard announced some new changes for Frost DK, and these changes include nerfs. Well, these changes are nerfs just across the board. They nerfed our obliterate damage baseline, just they, they nerfed the ability. They nerfed Pillar of Frost, they put it on a longer cooldown, and they reduced how long it stays active for, and they, really, and they nerfed Might of the Frozen Waste as a direct nerf to two-hand Frost DK. They nerfed that by 5%. Now, losing 12% of obliterate damage may not sound like a lot to you guys, but the week before, they had nerfed it by 8%. This isn't the first time. After all of this, after all these different nerfs, we are now left in a spot, specifically on the pre-patch, where two-hand frost DK is like a wet noodle. Two-hand frost DK kinda sucks. I went from hitting 3 to 5k obliterates regularly to hitting 1.3k obliterates top end. And that's with every single cooldown rolling, and if you have no cooldowns rolling, our obliterate hits for 5 100 damage. Our Frost Strike hits for about 700. When you look at the tooltip for Obliterate versus the tooltip for Frost Strike, which Obliterate actually does less damage on the tooltip than Frost Strike does. Obliterate hits like a wet noodle. These nerfs especially affect two-hand Frost DK, but they affect Dual Wield 2, they affect Breath of Sindragosa, they affect every kind of build. No matter how you like to play your Frost DK, you have been nerfed. I don't know why they did this. I don't know why in the world they felt that this was nece necessary. I don't know why they felt like this was a good way to fix maybe some kind of imbalance happening in Shadowlands around the Covenant abilities. For those of you who don't know, in the Shadowlands beta, the Covenant abilities, specifically for the Kyrian and for the Necro Lord, our Soulbind abilities have a way to buff Obliterate damage. It's the final row of Emony's tree for the Necro Lords, and it's the final row of Pelagos' tree for the Kyrian. These Soulbind abilities have caused our Obliterates in Shadowlands to be quite strong. 21k Obliterate on a uh, Kyrian. You know, my friend Hazed, 18k Obliterate as a Necro Lord. That's a little strong, but it wasn't Obliterate that was overpowered. It was the fact that Pelagos in the Kyrian tree gives you a thousand mastery when baseline you have 200. It's because the Necro Lord ability for Emony gives you 15% extra strength. But yet, instead of balancing these two Covenant Soulbind abilities, they decided to nerf the core kit of Frost DK. They decided to nerf Obliterate. Now, in the Shadowlands beta, these changes aren't live yet, but I'm already expecting this to basically take us from A tier in Shadowlands down to B tier, which sucks pretty bad. But I think where the big problem really comes is when we look at the game in a state without those borrowed power, without the legendaries, without the conduits, without any of this extra stuff, the covenant abilities and the soulbind abilities, without all that stuff, and that is the entirety of pre-patch, which could last anywhere from one to maybe even three months now that Shadowlands is delayed, and on top of that, when Shadowlands comes out, you've got a level like this too. You got a level without that borrowed power. 
ultimately during this entire time of questing up and going through the pre-patch without this borrowed power two hand frost dk is going to be pretty bad and dual wield frost dk is going to be right there with it it might be a little bit better just because of the frost damage but basically what we're seeing is frost dk is not in a good place right now frost dk has been gutted frost dk is not what we had hoped it would be going into this pre-patch i don't know why they're doing this i don't know why it makes zero sense obliterate was not a hard-hitting ability my item level 70 druid who's in full resto druid gear hits harder he hits 4ks 4ks 5ks ferocious bites all day long but my dk hits 500 obliterates it makes zero sense and then ice cap it makes even less sense the ice cap change people like to say it lines up better of cooldowns but it doesn't it doesn't line up at all with our cooldowns i would have understood maybe if they had done either increase the cooldown or decrease the uptime but doing both it makes absolutely no sense and i'm honestly just baffled i'm absolutely baffled i don't understand why this is happening I don't understand why blizzard is doing this we were an underdog you guys have seen me doing a lot of really cool frost dk pvp here you guys have seen me mess up a lot of people but we all got to keep in mind that i'm making youtube videos i give you guys the cream of the crop i give you guys the best footage i can possibly create for you i don't show you the times that i get destroyed by a rep paladin 45 times in a row in duels trying to figure out how to beat the most broken class in the shadowlands and shadowlands pre-patch i don't show you all the times when a shadow priest laughed at me while i'm bursting and he's taking zero damage i'm not showing you all the times that feral druids hit me for half of my hp bar stunned me and ran to the other side of the map and let their bleeds kill me you haven't seen all the times that Windwalker monks have literally just trolled the absolute hell out of me. You guys see the times when I win those duels. You guys see the times when I win those arenas. But that wasn't most of the time. We were underdogs in comparison to a whole lot of classes. And now I'm afraid that after everything that's been done, between the weapon swapping nerf, between the obliterate nerf, the might of the frozen waste nerf, and the ice cap nerf, or the pillar of frost nerf, I mean, my bad. I'm afraid that we just don't stand a chance. The only thing that we can do about this is to go to the forums and to go to Twitter and to go anywhere where we can possibly get the attention of the devs and tell them what we think tell them what's happening tell them what we're experiencing and tell them what we want to see i'll have a link to the forms down in the description of this video i have the ats for the warcraft developers and for ian hazakostas on the screen right now for twitter and i so i really hope that you guys all go there and share your opinions even if your opinion isn't the same as mine i just want them to do what the dk community wants that's all i want I know a lot of you, myself included, have been waiting a very, 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 very long time for Two Hand Frost DK to come back. And it finally is back. But now, only the most hardcore players are going to want to even attempt to play it. This is going to push away a whole swath of new Frost DKs that were excited to come and see what the Two Hand Frost DK hype was about excited to see frost finally get some different play styles excited to finally leave breath of syndragosa in the past and move on to something new those dreams have been crushed you know maybe shadowlands will be all right because we have those borrowed power to lift us up but until we get that frost dk in its current form right now following these nerfs that are going live in two days this tuesday it's not going to be good. Sorry this has been kind of a solemn video. Uh, sorry for coming across as maybe clickbaity or like doom stay kind of stuff. But I don't know what else to really say to you guys. These nerfs are horrible. And I really, really hope that Blizzard does something to revert them or meet us halfway and reduce them. 
Because if not, then pre-patch is not going to be a fun experience. And if this stuff goes into Shadowlands, then although we won't be awful in Shadowlands, we won't be good. We, we will be very, very, very mediocre at best. Things are not looking good. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.